Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So it's around 9 o'clock and I want to go to gym but I thought I'd eat first. I usually go to gym faster just because I get up so early but because it is 9 o'clock I'm just having some oats with some coconut yogurt. Also guys this is the first week of Feb. And as you guys know, if you watch my like fitness goals of 2018, Feb is when I actually start doing my wedge shred. So first week of Feb, I'm actually getting a bit more serious. January was just sort of like getting back into routine, um, not changing too much. I know the last time I sort of spoke about it, I was telling you guys like I had lost my appetite because my sickness. Well, good to know, appetite is definitely back. So I'm gonna talk to you later about my wedge shed. It's probably, like you're probably gonna be surprised what I'm doing, um, but yeah, no, I'll talk to you later about it. So I'm just gonna finish off my oats and then me and Tim are gonna go also, to the gym. I thought I'd just do a quick body update for you guys. So this is post having my breakfast. Now it's like 20 minutes before we're going, so I'm just taking my pre-workout. As always, I just take my Oxy Shred and this stuff, which is a fat burner, and just to sort of get me in the mood and get me going. Are you taking a pre-workout, Tim? Mm-hmm. Tim takes like one of those like gross pre-workouts that give you itchies and you don't take that. I do, I have to. <laughs> you don't. I've got none left. <laughs> oh my God. He usually takes one of those pre-workouts, like the typical boy pre-workouts of it. Are you really going to take Oxy Show? Yes. All right. Tim's on the Oxy Show today. <laughs> On route to the gym, it's about 11 o'clock, so just gonna go and do a hit session, and then after me and Tim are gonna get some lunch. But as you guys know, I only do hit once or twice a week, and I sort of prefer that because previously when I was doing it, I was doing it nearly every single day, so when I did do it, I kind of wouldn't put in that much effort because I was going to do it the next day. But now that, it's because there's glasses, but now that I do hit like only once or twice a week, when I do do it, I really have a lot of energy and a lot of effort. And because I'm not doing it for like, you know, another four, five, or even a week, I like put a lot of effort in and just smash it out. So just did my first round. So I'm repeating those exercises three times and then I do a hundred skips and then I go into my next round. Very puffed. As you can see, I do two rounds and I use the same equipment for the exercises. So I basically pick the equipment and then I just pick exercises to see the equipment. Hello! Hello! I just 
got home, had a shower, put a change of clothes on. That's weird. Now me and Tim are just going to lunch. We're going to this like Villa Bowl place. There we go. You smell good. We finished lunch and now we're just taking the puppies for a little walk. But I just had like a falafel bowl. So it had like falafels, like really yummy miso eggplant, like a salad with like, a, what's it called? Kale, cucumber, and like some carrots. And, and I was like actually saying to Tim, I'm really loving at the moment having my veggies in like yummy sauces or just like yummy seasoning because like previously to Christmas I loved filling my plate with veggies and then I kind of came back from Christmas and you don't eat as much You're eating different food and I noticed that I like wasn't really that interested so I've been really making an effort to like spice up my veggies with like seasoning or cooking them in just like um, butter and salt and pepper and just trying to make them taste nice so just to make sure I'm getting all my veggies in so I just wanted to talk to you guys about basically what I'm doing with my wed shed previously in my fitness video kind of like for my fitness goals I explained that John was all about just like getting back into routine making sure I can lift weights wasn't too worried about food or anything like that and then February was when wed shed really started my last fitting for my dress is mid March so basically after that I don't want to lose any weight or change because I want to fit perfectly into my wedding dress. Previously in my wed shed videos like last year I explained that how I personally lose weight and cut fat and what works for me is doing little bursts of eating in a surplus, eating at my maintenance, eating in a calorie deficit and personally that just like works so well for my body like my body responds really well but also like mentally I can deal with it so previously if I was going to lose weight I would just eat in a calorie deficit I would be doing hit but then I would just completely burn out and I might lose weight and be okay for a certain amount of time but then my body would rebound and absolutely hate me and I would end up putting on more weight than I lost and it was just kind of a vicious cycle I told myself when I did my wedge shed that I'm gonna do it smart and that's why I literally started it last year because I'm doing it quite slow and not crazy or anything like that because I don't want to rebound I want this to just be easy in my body for Feb even though that's kind of like my month where I'm getting really serious it's still not gonna be anything drastic I'm just explaining to you the last couple of weeks I don't know if you've noticed in some of my videos probably like the last two weeks actually I've been eating a lot of like quinoa I have been eating in a surplus or like just over my maintenance to get my body ready for the shredding the first week literally all I did is I just added in two tablespoons of quinoa to all my lunches and all my dinners I worked out that's roughly like per meal like 200 calories or like just under something like that and also I made sure for breakfast I was eating two pieces of toast because like sometimes I eat one sometimes I eat two so I just made sure it was two this is me doing things intuitively so I could get at like my fitness pal and like track all my food and make sure my calories are up or down or anything like that I have done it in the past and it's honestly such a good idea Idea if you have no knowledge about food and what you're eating because when I first started tracking I was so surprised how much I was under eating so I do highly suggest you use a tracking like device like my fitness power to look at your macros and that sort of thing just as a base so you do have some sort of knowledge I personally just don't have the time to track every single food and my like 
way of life like I just don't see that as fun and enjoyable hello gorgeous and it's just not something I want to do so I still want to enjoy this process of losing weight for my wedding I don't want to look back and think oh my god that was so horrible and oh it was so annoying I had to track my food so I'm really about making the journey easy and nothing too drastic and livable because then it's just going to be easy to keep my like the body that I achieve so that's like my mind frame at the moment. So yes, so I started adding in like the first week, like two tablespoons of quinoa, make sure I was having two pieces of toast. And then the week after I've had three. So that's just intuitively. So I didn't have to track or anything like that adding more food in but doing it very slightly so you know maybe like 500 calories extra a day and because I do work out and that sort of thing I didn't gain weight or anything like that but I just know my metabolism is now used to because this is now my third week of doing it churning a bit more calories so I just wanted to get my body sort of like used to churning that many calories and a bit of extra food this week like this week coming is again another week of adding in a bit of extra food or kind of just the same just so my body is used to it so I'm not actually in the wedge shred mode at the moment and then the week after that I'm gonna start taking out food and I'm gonna start adding in one extra hit session a week so when I say hit session like you know like the one I did this morning at the moment I've probably only been doing one of those a week and then I also do like a walk so now um, the week after I will definitely be doing two hit sessions like make sure I'm doing them and my food will decrease a little bit and my weight training will see the exact same but obviously my next video when I'm actually am like um, in a calorie deficit I will talk to you more about it but I just sort of wanted to update you guys on what I'm doing at the moment and sort of my mindset so it's around 5 30 but I'm gonna make an early dinner for me and Tim I'm having one of my hello fresh meals so tonight I am cooking this pork loin some potato and broccoli with a nice little sauce on it also another really good thing about HelloFresh is it tells you like the calories and exactly what's in it and that sort of stuff which is good so you can sort of put it in your like calorie counter or whatever if you're doing that. There's actually a sauce on this and it's like chicken salt, sour cream and like the herb and because I don't really eat a lot of dairy, I'm not going to have the sour cream and what I'm going to do is just crumble like the chicken stock in with the sweet potato and the broccoli. Tim's is just on the sofa because his was a little bit thicker but it looks super simple but the veggies are so flavorsome and I'm pairing it with this dill and parsley mayonnaise that HelloFresh put in and I'm obsessed. This brand is really good. It's like gluten free, dairy free. Um, Pro tip, if you have a boyfriend who doesn't like veggies, like mine, cook your veggies in chicken stock and like garlic or like whatever herbs because that was so good. It made the veggies so good and Tim actually ate all his veggies, which he really did. I'm just going to quickly make my breakfast for tomorrow and then me and Tim will just sit down and watch the rest of our TV show. And because it's Sunday night, I'm going to have my salted Caramel Loving Earth Chocolate. I'm obsessed. But I'm going to sign off here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And get ready for more, like, in-depth wed shred videos because this is a month. It's all happening. Oh, I can't believe it. Anyway, see you guys. Bye.